coming up on this special holiday edition of Aftershock. Michael investigated how members of our community are fulfilling the holiday spirit. Mia covered the National Honor Society toy drive. And Alex uncovered the bond between an owner and their pet. What's up Cypress Bay? I'm Alexa Podolsky. And I'm Oliver Sula. And Aftershock starts now. COVID shutting everything down, people are still finding ways to commemorate this holiday season. And Michael went out to investigate these new ways to celebrate. It's finally that time of the year again, with hot chocolate, a million little LED lights on every house, and inflatable Santas. Ho, ho, ho! It's hard not to feel the joy of the holidays. Merry Christmas! Sadly, with rising COVID cases, it seems even Santa's in quarantine. Merry Christmas and much love. But that doesn't quite mean that there's no reason for the season. Well, I'm very sad about not being able to see my family because I was going to, normally I travel to Brazil and I see my whole family and we have a family dinner. I think what we're going to do in my house is we're just going to do like a big Zoom call and I'm just going to celebrate with like my family at home. Um, I have like a lot of siblings so we can all just like entertain each other and watch movies and stuff. Anna's coming in town. Santa! Oh my God! A COVID Christmas isn't enough to stop the spirit, however. And we always do like a, just the four, the six of us, like I have six people in my house. We always do like a gift exchange in between us. So it'd still be fun. Staying safe is a priority for many families, meaning parties will be less likely. Christmas parties today uh, or, or this year for our house has basically been almost canceled. We limited the number of people uh, because we don't want anybody getting sick. And if we do have them, it's just an immediate family. But despite that, people are still showing their holiday pride with honor. What they've done mostly in my neighborhood is to get in this Christmas spirit, they've put lights and they've, I think, decorated their homes a little more this year than uh, last year. So I think people are just, you know, doing the safe thing and putting up, up lights and just trying to get into the Christmas spirit. You know, I put up uh, more lights and, uh, and uh, help my neighbor put up their lights and stuff like that. It just goes to show you, no matter what obstacles we may face, you can't take the jingle out of our bells. Michael Orlando, CBTV. Ho, 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 everybody. It looks like the holidays are finally upon us. And with that, I thought I'd show you some of the best tech gifts to get to all your loved ones. All right, let's get the big boys out of the way. Xbox Series X, PS5, and RTX 30 Series are the latest in gaming tech providing you with more ways to play and making your games look absolutely stunning while you're at it. There's just one big problem though. Due to various supply issues and extremely high demand, it looks as though it is practically impossible to snag one of these up. And good luck trying to find one at MSRP as well. Going into sites like eBay and Craigslist, it looks as though prices have gone up up to three times the normal amount. Well, if you try to get one anyway, just make sure you have your F5 key ready, a whole lot of coffee for overnight shopping, and the will and power to fight on and get the stock. Okay, okay, okay. what if I don't want to risk my life to get a PS5? Well, I got just a thing for you. This right here is the Oculus Quest 2 a new VR headset capable of taking you into breathtaking and new worlds. There is one cool thing about it though. No wires. This thing is completely powered by itself, meaning you can take it anywhere, use it anywhere, and do whatever you want with it. All you have to do is open the box, take out the magic that is inside, and dive into a completely new reality. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm done making a fool out of myself. Luis Rodriguez, CV TV. All right, dude, I gotta go. I wanna stay up late so I can try catching Santa. Santa only produces the gifts. The gift gremlin delivers them. Are you seriously still on with that dumb joke? I'm serious. How do you think he gets through the chimney? 
Small body. Why do you think he only takes bites out of cookies? Small appetite. Why do you think- Good night. than just presents. It's about caring and being kind to those around you. And NHS kept their Christmas spirit up with their annual toy drive. Here's Mia with more. Toys, toys, and even more toys. From far away, it seems like one of Santa's workshops. But once you get a closer look, you really see the true Christmas spirit. NHS is one of the many clubs offered here at Cypress Bay High School. NHS stands for National Honor Society. It's a club that's dedicated to service, scholarship, leadership, and character. This year, NHS is holding their annual toy drive for the less fortunate. So today we're actually hosting a collection drive for Broward Partnership. It's a shelter for unhoused people in Broward, and we're collecting toys and sanitation supplies. They're currently in need of it because of COVID, and obviously because the holidays are coming up, we just thought it'd be a good idea. Everything that we're collecting today will be going to Broward Partnership, which is a shelter for unhoused people in Broward County. Barbies and even stuffed animals are collected to give kids that merry feeling of presents under the tree on Christmas morning. Today we're hoping to collect a couple of hundred toys based off of signups, but our members are also just very giving people and we hope to collect a lot, yeah. With the help of NHS, every kid is on the nice list this year. Mia Batista, CBTV. If you're wondering how to stay safe during a pandemic, here's a few tips. Make sure to socially distance and stay at least six feet apart. Stay away from frequently touched areas like door handles and railings. Sanitize your hands frequently. Always wash your hands for at least 20 seconds before eating. If you are having symptoms of COVID-19, get tested immediately. If you test positive, don't be afraid to speak up and tell people you've been around. Hey, I just wanted to tell you I just tested positive for COVID. Hey, thanks for letting me know. Um, stay safe and I hope you feel better. This holiday season has looked very different for not just people, but for our furry companions as well. Here's Alex with the story. Meet Pebbles, a tiny, bright orange rescue kitty that was adopted from an animal shelter. Pebbles and I have the same birthday. And like, that was just something really weird when we adopted her that we ended up having the same birthday. And then when she was younger, I don't think that she ever realized that she was a cat. She would act like a dog. So if I was walking around the house or something, she would be right at my feet, she'd be following me. She was so tiny that walking into my house with like my dog and my other cat, I had to become this like protector. And it was just, it was like the friendship formed so easily because of that. But Pebbles wasn't purring as much as the typical kitty. As she started getting older, she wasn't learning to eat. And that's not something that they really have to learn when they're even babies. It's just kind of innate to know to go to the food if it smells good. Um, and she never learned that. It was just getting to the point where we weren't equipped to teach her those kind of things. It just wouldn't be fair or humane to keep her. After weeks of trying to get Pebbles back up on her own four feet, 
We did have to give Pebbles away. The animal hospital deemed that Pebbles would need special care for the rest of her life and was separated from her best friend and Katie. But miracles can happen in the holiday season. Meet Milo, an extremely hyper rescue kitty adopted by Katie just before the holidays. It kind of feels like everything happens for a reason because without what happened with Pebbles, I wouldn't have met Milo. But then also if what happened, if we never figured out what was wrong with Pebbles and she could have been suffering here. So I feel like it kind of worked out. We call him Stinky. <laughs> and he is so cute. He is so cute. And he gets along because I have another cat, Herbert. And they get along so well. Milo is my best friend. While Katie's journey does not get off to a positive start, her feline friend and Milo has her feline good this holiday season. Alex Land, CB TV. Jewish or not, Hanukkah is probably the first Jewish holiday that you learned about. But why? In the Jewish religion, it's considered minor. And its story isn't even in the Torah. So why is it so popular? Well, many people may think Hanukkah is just the Jewish version of Christmas. And although this is inaccurate, that's where its prevalence came from. Historians believe that there are two main schools of thought. Some think 19th century American Jews tried to use Hanukkah as a way to get young people interested in synagogue by bribing them with toys, while others think it was just a straightforward 20th century response to Christmas. Regardless of how it became what it is today, that doesn't change the original story and sentiment of Hanukkah, which isn't necessarily the story of how the oil lasted for eight nights, but instead the story of how a ragtag group of Jewish warriors known as the Maccabees took back the control of Jerusalem from the Greek army and made Jerusalem free again. So, although this minor holiday may be known as the Festival of Lights, it is the freeing rebellion of the Jewish people that we celebrate when we say those Hanukkah prayers. Hag Sameach, Logan Selig, CB, TV. Ah, ho ho, hi everyone. Oliver Sula here, Cypress Bay's busiest music nerd. And it's that time of year where we review everyone's favorite and not so favorite holiday hits. To start off, we first have... Ah yes, the classic jingle that describes itself with the lyrics. Jingle bells, jingle. It works. I don't mind chanting to it every now and then, to be honest. I gotta say, I will be going with this over the self-proclaimed remix, Jingle Bell Rock. Completely different appeal. I'm feeling a decent seven. Well, this doesn't apply in Florida. It makes me feel all nice and cozy inside, as if I was, you know, curling up beside a fire with a nice cup of hot cocoa. Instead of here doing whatever it is that I do, I'm feeling a light to decent seven on this one. You know, it's not enough to celebrate Christmas right after Halloween without blasting this song ferociously everywhere you go. Despite that, you cannot deny that this song slaps. Mariah Carey's take on Christmas music with a more modern, grand, and upbeat production are really what I see personally as being the reason that it has been the champion of holiday music. I'm feeling a strong gate on this record. Tran. Zishin. Happy holidays, happy holidays. Be sure to sleep tight. Keep up with Aftershock and to all, a good night. You know, with everything going on, I wonder what St. Nick's up to. Me too. But I think Nicole might be able to help us out with this one. Let's check it out. Even a pandemic can't stop Santa Claus from coming to town. Malls, festivals, and even the Macy's Parade had to make accommodations for Santa and all the children around the world eager to meet him. So as we were waiting in line, my brother and I, we'd walk up to Santa and we'd like sit on his lap and we would tell him what we wanted and he would always be like, oh, okay, ho, ho, ho. This year, the holiday magic had to work a little bit harder. Mr. Claus's photos have been set up to follow the CDC guidelines with sanitizer stations, plexiglass, time sessions to prevent crowds, mandatory mask wearing, and six feet social distancing. Civilians are put in front of plexiglass to help create the effect that they are closer than they actually seem. I do believe that the accommodations used for the new Santa photos are gonna be effective. Um, when I went to the mall, I saw um, Santa Claus sitting there with a uh, like plexiglass in front of him so that the kids can go in front of him and take a picture. And there was a social distance line around the like, entire mall. It was really long, but it was very safe. For those who prefer the virtual alternative, children can video chat Old St. Nick from the comfort of their homes. Macy's has put together an online event that includes a meet and greet with Santa and his elves, 
a virtual tour of his workshop, interactive games, and more. Despite recent events, everyone is doing their part to keep this holiday season holly and jolly. Nicole Borman, CB TV. The season of giving is upon us, meaning it's time to give and receive some pretty cool gifts. Now, before you go holiday shopping, here are three of the weirdest gifts you could possibly get your loved ones this year. All right, up first, we've got this weird toaster thingy that can apparently toast your face onto your bread, which is pretty cool when you think about it, but I'd imagine it doesn't taste very good simply because the bread itself is not being toasted evenly. So when you get to the part with your face on it, it probably tastes like burnt toast. Uh, so yeah, I would definitely think about this one before buying. All right, up next, we've got my favorite product out of the bunch, toddler tamers. Now, not only are these extremely fashionable, but each little boot thing is five pounds. So if you pop them on your baby and you take your baby out for a walk, they're gonna come back jacked, absolutely ripped, dude. And who doesn't want a muscular baby? They always say, start them young. So start them young, it's a perfect product for that. All right, last but not least, we've got the Ewax Candle Kit. Now, I know what you're thinking, Isa, that is disgusting, so gross, but it's crafty. And if you turn it into a family project, not only does the candle itself get made faster, but you and your family get to bond over the creation that you've made. And on top of that, I'm pretty sure it smells really nice. So, you know, win-win. <laughs> all right, all jokes aside, let's hope that Santa doesn't put these under your tree this year. I'm Isabella Chiappini, CB TV. Look at his toes. <laughs> Look at the top of his head. That that's elf right there. That's Buddy the elf. That's the elf. That's the that's the elf. Yeah, Lewis, I got it first. <laughs> I didn't get the image yet. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh, I'm on this one. Home Alone. F you guys, I got it. Oh, Home Alone. I win. I said it before. I literally just watched this like two days ago. Right. Yeah, but you didn't say it, and like that's I what did. you need to do to get the point. I did. Oh my god. That's uh. Oh, I have no idea what this one is. I have zero clue what this one is. So I, Why is their movie. face so weird? Their eyes are so disproportional <laughs> to their face. This has to be like some sort of movie, you know? It's like elf mission, like it's definitely something like that, like some kind of mission. Like it just seems like that, like Santa mission. The elf. Again. Polar Express. Nope. Oh, nope. My is I said it first. I'm like bleeding from my finger. It's like that's great, that's Lewis. Crazy. No one cares. I won. <laughs> Stop. I don't. Yes. I don't. If there's one thing we can agree on, it is Lewis lost. That's all for this holiday episode of AfterShock. If you want to watch previous episodes, visit our YouTube channel at Cyberspace CBTV and follow us on all of our social medias. I'm Alexa Podolsky. And I'm Oliver Sula. Happy holidays, Cypress Bay.